We want home story cups. Ooh, any home story cup stories? Nothing all too crazy that comes to mind right now. The event was a uh, three day one rather than the regular four days, which uh, I actually preferred, I think. Yeah, normally four days can be kind of long, but three days felt really good. I do have a cat, by the way, in the room as well. Was Zombie Grub wasted? I don't think she was entirely sober when she started talking about double fisting during the broadcast. I was sitting there, I think it was me and Wardy. We were sitting there like, sorry, what? Uh, apparently double fisting is what you use in the States. This is what she explained. It's what you use in the States when you have two different drinks in either hand. <laughs> the cast was a bit of a disaster. You can see both me and Wardy face palming right as she says it. Let me see if I can actually find, if I can, <laughs> if I can find the clip. Because both me and Wardy are like, oh god, <laughs> where is this going? What are you saying right now? There must be some good clips from this event. Loco throwing shade at AoE 4? What did I say? It glides forward a little bit, like it's a turn radius, right? Like it takes forever for it, like... If you tell it to like make a move, it just glides forward for a little bit longer before it finally listens. It turns like a bus. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it is. <laughs> like an Age of Empires 4 unit. <laughs> In a... I was talking about the Mama ship. The Mama ship's control feels horrible. Age of Empires 4 units. Oh, I stand by my... Yeah, I stand by my... my. Yeah, no, that's... I think that's good. Not bad for a Canadian? What is this? Not bad for a Canadian. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Classic. Double what? This must be it. It's a clip from Ugetsu. Yeah, that has to be the one. It's a very common American phrase, all right? I had like a little <laughs> argument on Reddit with some guy. He was cool, though. You're cool, man. You had arguments on Reddit? That's where you went wrong already. Like, she needs to Google this. Like, I didn't know that it was like a double entendre, right? Like, I wasn't just like doting <laughs> Gelazer on. Oh, it's a double. Wait, really? It is? Oh, no, my no, God. no, 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 it's not. It's like, okay, the rest of the world, right? Thinks that double fisting is apparently a very sexual act, all right? We're in Germany, so apparently look at you guys just <laughs> look at both that, me and right? you're like, bro. But in America, what are you doing? you're holding two drinks. Okay. You're, you're holding it. There you go. Like, you could even mix the Red Bull if you want. <laughs> Very funny vent though. Really good time. You were laughing so hard. I had never heard of the term double fisting before, guys. No, no, no. It's very common here in Wisconsin. Really? You guys do a lot of double fisting in Wisconsin? Good for you guys. Good for you. What's this? I mean, I did like the cleanup, but I think it could have been better. That was an uncharacteristic to end. Uncharacteristic. Oh, fuck it. That was a, su su that was a surpri surprising F2 by Shane. <laughs> ah, it's surprising that one. I mean, I was trying to go for a, Uncharacteristic. To go for a sophisticated word. And, and I remember yeah, I was I, I never go for those myself. <laughs> yeah. myself I just he amazing. wanted to go for a fancy word, but then he remembered he was French. Fair enough. That's a good problem to have. How many zealots does Harstam s What is the ideal number of zealots in a zealot run by? Oh. I don't know. I, I think it depends a bit as well. Um, I like six. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Why? Six is the first perfect number. Really? Yeah. You didn't know this? I did none of this. What is a perfect number? A perfect number is a number that is equal to the sum of its dividers. Six can be divided by three, two, and one. If you add three, two, and one together, you get back to six. That's crazy. Uh, that's how I decide uh, the amount of zealots in my run buys. <laughs> <laughs> the second perfect number is 28, so that's why sometimes you see me send a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Harston, man. Gullazur loses it. Oh god, this is another cast with zombie grub. The drinking game, though. I still have the beer. <laughs> but I'm double fisting, so... Again?! No? Double fisting? Never heard it? Rowan, thank you so much! <laughs> it means I have two, two fists full of alcohol. Okay. That's what it means. Okay, I, I just never heard that term before in, oh, okay. in any context whatsoever, so... Um, <laughs> good to know. Uh, it is good to know. Good to know. Zombie Grub was a content machine, ha ha ha. Thank you, Coconut! Good to see you again. Thank you for the 15-month resub, appreciate you. <sighs> Zombie Grub keeps talking about double fisting. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure. You Euro pours just can't afford enough alcohol to double fist? Oh yeah. Let's see. Feel strong man. What's this? Oh god, this is a very old one. 
That's the Protoss player MC who for some reason decides to sing this song. I am not entirely sure why we decided to do karaoke this this home story cup, but uh, I think he won the whole tournament and then he did it. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> Dude, they all look so young. Everybody, look, that's Dennis right over there. Oh my god. I don't know if I can keep playing this without getting uh, my, my VOD muted. He can hold a tune, yeah. I can hold a tune too, but I wouldn't be singing it on stream, Rowan. <laughs> Demi is still with some hair. I think he was wearing a hat, no? But yeah. What's this? Oh, he broke it again. <laughs> so to clarify, if I understand correctly, Rainer got a replacement trophy, so he won two Home Story Cups back to back. And the previous Home Story Cup that he won, he also had a trophy. It was an immortal with a bunch of lighting, and he like shook it around a little bit, and it broke. So they got him a replacement one. And that's what at least XMG. <laughs> you guys are all amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Supporting. Don't destroy it. Supporting. Not, a, not again. <laughs> Rain. I don't know how he manages. That is actually kind of hard. He breaks another trophy. Da. What is this? What? <laughs> what was that? That <laughs> was betrayal. Wait, what? Did he just kill a ghost or did he attack move on another Dark Templar? Oh. The ghost goes away? <laughs> what? <laughs> the ghost walks away and the Dark Templar gets attack moved. Poor guy. Roddy says the Roddy things. Okay, I'm ready. Behind, but I mean, uh, I say luckily that was already no mining here for like a minute and a half of almost every single probe as well. Yeah, I think in the end, it's still good for Raynor. I gotta say, Harstam's probe micro at first was very sexy, but he just needed to make sure that he at yeah. least would have that money, so the adapt. And the funny thing is that he built a backup pylon, right? Roddy says the Roddy things. Wait, what are the Roddy things? That was some good commentary by Roddy, no? Not sure what this one is, guys. Horrible clip. Three out of ten. I'm scared of these YouTubers, man. <laughs> I played a guy that was called iProxy Hatch. And it really is you, Fairmo. I was shitting my pants. I was like, I, if I lose him, I'll go on YouTube. Did he proxy hatch now? He did proxy hatch. Oh. Guess what? In CVZ? Yes. Went well. I lost. Really? I lost 60 points. I couldn't believe oh, it. No. I was sweating. I was like, I started checking if You're like streaming. checking on Discord if, if you thermals online? I was refreshing his YouTube page. I was like, <laughs> damn it. Oh, embarrassing. Not like this. All these, all these pro gamers, actually, I've heard this from like four different pro gamers during the cast. That they're all terrified of getting casted in a game on YouTube whenever they f up on the ladder. So like they play a ladder game, they're kind of like eating food or whatever at the same time, talking with some buddies on Discord. And then they play a horrible game. And apparently they, they are a little bit afraid that those are the replays that end up uh, yeah, going around on the internet and then make it to the YouTube channels. So I felt very powerful. Not gonna lie, I felt very powerful. I, I didn't realize that this was a thing that people were very concerned about. So that, that's kind of scary for the Protoss, obviously, but maybe the Dutchman has an ace up his sleeve. Yeah, that's tricky, right? I mean, in order to get better at the game, you have to obviously practice a lot. But then when you play against the guy you're playing in the tournament next, that does not make anything easier. Is it allowed to wear a Katowice cap in Krefeld? I'm not sure, man. <laughs> I can't believe after all these years you don't have Krefeld hats. We got some Wait, this is this whole clip is just handsome lads? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's the whole clip? There's a lot of shots of Lambo and Harstam in this event, man. So follow me. I, I try to walk backwards. <laughs> like, uh, Coco's I'm, like I'm really afraid that I'm falling down here. <laughs> Coco, what happened here? We can see the exact moment where Coco realizes she's on camera. So follow me. I, I try to walk. <laughs> Coco, I don't know if you're still here, but uh, I do. Yeah, this is a great shot. I like it. Fantastic moment. Oh no, no, no. That that is a Twitch emote right there. Yeah, just act normal. Uh, I usually want to say that even if you are at an event, we have these hardcore people that can't stop playing games. I don't know, Jerome, if you can follow me. That's our camera guy in the back. I'm so happy that we have XMG as one of our, of our long time. <laughs> this is just because Lorimbo and Kobo are on the start. Okay. And you can't wall it off. Like, it's so bad and all of this and that. Like, the Koreans are messaging me saying, like, you can't wall this off. I, I told the map maker, and the map maker's like, yeah, you just put two gateways here. 
<laughs> it was like, because it was like they were trying to like wall further forward than you ah. had to. Oh. And they were like, you know, you put, put two gateways there. And I still showed the Koreans, and they're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can almost hear it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. The, funny, the funny thing is, is that the nerds are incredibly eager. As we take a look at Yona, <laughs> you guys can see Yona yeah, is incredibly, incredibly eager. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very well oh. played by Solar. We actually have another game between Trigger and Fiant, which we're going to jump into now. Oh, Parker. Where the score is 1-1, one, one. so Fiant took another map of a good Protoss player. Ooh. Probably with the same build, I'd imagine. I don't... Maybe Trigger didn't have what, time to what check. What build? I, did, I so, missed the build. So the build, he, he already almost... He, he had a close game against Showtime in Sweden already. It's the Lorimbo build. Lorimbo is a 5.3 or 5.4k Zerg player uh, from Italy who uh, invented... Or I'm not sure if he invented it, but he basically is playing a proxy hatch, gasless. Spinecrawler Rush. <laughs> I did one cast with Lorimbo and Fiont. Probably the most exhausting cast I've done in, in you know, in the entire event. Uh, those lots have a lot of energy. But it was a very fun cast, actually. Yeah, I was looking at the VOD and seeing what people were saying about it. They kept on talking about the high testosterone levels of the build. I was like, okay, we've had the high testosterone part covered now. And they're like, no, 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 no. We got to explain and go in depth what it means to have a high testosterone build versus a low. T they had a lot. Yeah, there was a lot going on there. There was a lot going on there. But was that a long pause where there were no casts at the chair plant? Or was that an oops? Harstam and a couple didn't know stepped in after the beer pong section, Nolan. Originally, that beer pong segment was supposed to go on for much longer. But I was told like three minutes before we did the beer pong section that I was asked to host it and I didn't know the rules. Like, nobody told me the rules. They were like, yeah, it's just beer pong. And they sit in the chair and they turn around in the chair. I was like, great, but I have not played beer pong. And I'm like, you'll figure it out. It'll be fine. So we do the beer pong section, right? We do the beer pong segment. And the first thing Ravi asked me is like, is, do we swipe back? So like that. I, I don't even, I, I have no idea. I played beer pong like five times in my life and I've never thought about the rules. So I was like, I don't know what we're doing. I know we're sitting in a chair. So originally that section was supposed to be much longer, but I asked if it could please make it shorter. Cause like, I think we did 10 minutes in total, which already felt like a long time. And I guess they filled it with the empty chairs of some cricket sounds. Um, I, I, th I think that's probably what they did. Are bounces allowed? I was like, I don't know, Ravi. Figure it out. It's not what we're doing. In the end, you guys hit nothing. So it was okay. We didn't really care about the rules. Everything was missed. The Germans apparently still sober enough, so... <sighs> Anyways. Mark Zuckerberg. Is his nickname literally Zuck? That's amazing. 10 million signups in 7 hours? Is that good or bad? I have no idea, Zuck. I have no idea what, like... I don't know, is that good? Is 10 million installations in 7 hours good? For a meta app? I don't know. Yeah, so I think the main reason why this can be kind of interesting is because you log in with your Instagram account. So it's it's obviously owned by Meta. And basically all of the social media people that have a bunch of followers on Instagram automatically have those same followers on Thread as well. Which does make it kind of interesting. Because otherwise you would have to start again from scratch and getting everybody to port over and whatnot is going to be hard. But Instagram is kind of big. I, I, like, I can go to the website. This is what the website looks like. I can scroll in and out, I believe. Oh, no, I can't even do that anymore. Oh, I can, kind of. This is all I see, though. What if you don't have Instagram or Facebook? Well, then I guess you could make a new account. Yeah, it's a new app that is supposed to be kind of like Twitter. But, uh, you know, it's kind of ironic that people are very excited for Thread. Uh, especially after everybody like has been shitting on Facebook for many many years and now people are like oh, Bro, we're gonna replace Twitter with another Facebook app. Let's go There's a little bit of irony there But uh, yeah, we're gonna yeah, it seems to be what a lot of people are doing right now Playing Zerk when Protoss is playing normal playing Zerk when Protoss is cannon rush This is my face all the time when I play Zerk. I don't understand Protoss players in 2023 Live footage of Protoss players trying to get out of group stage in 2023? Mate, what tournaments are these people watching, though? This is just like... There's a lot of anti-Protoss propaganda going on, on on the StarCraft community posts uh, over the last couple of weeks. Last couple of months, really, but it seems to be gaining momentum. I'm not exactly sure as to why. Protoss does really well getting to, like, top 16s and top 8s and all that, and then, you know, they don't win sh after that. But they do all right getting into... I guess maybe in the GSL things are doing kind of bad? Okay. 
What are your thoughts on the mothership? Like, this is more bait, right? We all know that this is bait, 100%. We already looked at this thread on Monday, I think. Actually, no, this was posted yesterday. Well, then I thought, I probably dreamed about streaming. This is 100% bait. What are your thoughts on the mothership? Okay, chat, what do you think? There's gonna be some mama ship slander over here. There's gonna be guys in this comment section that think that the mothership should not be abductable. There's gonna be guys in the, in the comment section 100% of the time that think it should not be abductable, which is a really, really bad take. It would become instantly overpowered. Minus 400, minus 400. Okay, good, good, I agree. Viper, ah, here it is. Viper should not be able to abduct it. I wish we still had Vortex. Vortex was dumb. Give it immunity to abduct, like when they gave it immunity to Neural. Uh... You know the reason why motherships get abducted all the time? People put it on the f control group with their main army, okay? They don't use a separate hotkey for it. In theory, right, assuming you micro everything correctly, High Templar, outrange Vipers. So if you have your mothership in a control group separate from the High Templar and the rest of your army, you can always, technically speaking, feedback the Viper before the abduction comes in. <sighs> yeah, they want to be able to just all army attack move. That's what they want, man. It was, uh, it's just, it's not right. It's not right. I actually think Protoss late game is very good. Hot take. I think Protoss late game is very strong, chat. I don't believe that it needs any buffs. It needs to be able to blink like stalkers. I think Protoss late game is plenty powerful as it is. I would just go out and say though that probably the best Zerk players in the world are better than the best Protoss players in the world. I honestly think if Hero and Serral were to switch race and they would play a Protoss versus Zerk where Serral's playing Protoss and Hero's playing Zerk and they're playing a late game, I think Serral would demolish him with Protoss. Assuming they had a few months to practice and all that, right? Like obviously those are hypotheticals and it'd be very difficult to actually put that in practice, but like, People try to sample on like four pro gamers, which is kind of nutty. <laughs> Zerk Cabal at work. <laughs> just look at the numbers. No, no, the meme that we just had over here was live footage of Protoss players trying to get out of the group stage. These Zerk Cabal strikes again, man. Serral with Protoss would be scary. Loco is a PT cruiser guy. What is that? What is a PT cruiser? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. This is my ride, baby. Woo! The ugliest car ever? No, that wasn't even an uglier car. And I found out that apparently my girlfriend's parents had one of those when she was a kid. What is the uglier car with the little hump in the middle thing? Dutch people know what I'm talking about. Those were like... Fiat Multipla? Yes, dude! They had one of these growing up, apparently. This, this is the ugliest car I have ever seen. I'm sorry if you drive one of those, but this is genuinely ugly. I'm not really a car guy. I really don't care much about cars, but like there's, there's something went wrong here. So, something went wrong, yeah. A Nissan Cube? What is a Nissan Cube? <laughs> it looks like a frowning old man. I don't know what's going, that's the vibe I'm getting here. Well, it's very cute. I can tell you that much. Now with electric cars, they don't even really need the engine over here in the front anymore. They could make it a proper cube cube. I'm looking forward to the electric version of the Viat cube. Pink you on Discord, Loco? You pink me on Discord? Yeah! Oh my god. This is supposed to be a supercar? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a multipla. It is. Tw 1276 horsepower? It doesn't look very aerodynamic, I'll be honest with you. All of those supercars are very low to the ground. I don't know, I don't know what's going on here, but... This is like turning a truck into a supercar, I don't know. I bet it'll be a blast to drive. Oh yeah, I'm sure it will be. I have no clue. <laughs> That's so funny though. <laughs> it looks so cursed. Wait, are you hating on this one? These are sick, dude. This is a sick car. Oh, you're just saying it's an actual cube. I misunderstood. I thought you were, were linking ugly cars. I was like, what? This thing looks amazing. <laughs> What's do you stand up in these while driving? Like, what do you do? What's happening right now? <laughs> it's like a standing desk, but in a car. It does kind of look like a baseball cap. Yeah. 
It's for Dutch people? Well, I probably can't stand in there. Dutch people probably can't stand in there, but... <laughs> there are Zorgalings coming across the map, chat. Oh, I did lose the overly. The overly? Nice. English. How many drones did I lose though? Not too much, I don't think. Best 69 months of my life. Very nice. Glad to hear you're happy, Dan. Appreciate you. Very nice. I've got a very quick lair. And I'm planning on skipping out my link speed. Swarm host? No, 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 I think you misunderstood, Echo. I'm trying to win this game. See, that's where a lot of people go wrong. I am not trying to lose. Although, watching my stream, sometimes it may make you think that I am trying to lose. Not the goal. What? No way! Why the f*** did the- Mate, that was bull- The f*** was that? He just- Okay, well, I wanted to go mute us. I guess now I can't go mute us anymore. Dude, my Evo chamber didn't build there. I knew that Overlord was bait. I took it, too. I was like, ooh, but what if I do get it? Ay, ay, ay. Why did that, why did that drone just stand there? It was just standing there, waiting for it to be able to make a, I don't know. Okay, that's not great. So there's a good chance he's now going mute us. And I gotta hit him before mutas are out. Problem is, I have no way to know. And I don't plan on scouting. I'm just gonna take a chance. Brenda, step aside! Yeah, imagine if my, my hatchery there did not get sniped. Genuinely, though. All jokes aside, it would have not been even close. <sighs> unlucky, dude. Very unlucky. Sometimes it takes a drone a second before it makes a structure. I feel like that one took a very long time. For no reason that I could tell, anyways. Uh, there should definitely be mutas on the back of this. I don't know what else it could be. I am very dead. But I can try and put all my eggs in one basket, okay? I'm accepting a loss if there are mutas. I am just gonna make non-stop roaches, that's the plan. This, this third base of mine is fake, I don't care about that third base. I'm not gonna scout. What we're gonna do is just try and still win despite the fact that this is already a loss. You know what I mean? Oh, it's Mutas? What? No way! And this is why you don't da a gamble, kids. Don't do it. If they balanced the game around me, there would be a penalty for having APM above 120. I saw that uh, Team Liquid threat, actually, Zeus. It was really funny. Um, I think it was Biomu who tweeted about that, which was kind of, kind of interesting. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. The point of this league is to avoid playing on the default StarCraft ladder. There are too many quote-unquote bad players who ruin the fun of laddering. No my main concern are... Or my main concerns rather are... High APM players. When your APM is high enough that you can consistently micro and get more value out of your units. But either they lack all other skills and are stuck in lower league. A loss will count as zero points, a draw as one point, and a win as two points. At the end of the league schedule, the best player is the player with the most points. The maximum APM allowed per game is... 
110 for the first five minutes for Terran and Protos, 120 for the first five minutes as Zerg. If the game lasts longer than five minutes, the maximum is increased with 10 per additional five minutes. So I, I responded to this tweet and I said, ah, yes, that's reasonable. And then, then Eon Blue apparently mentioned that apparently this guy used me as a reason. He says, to paraphrase Loco, so I said this in a video, don't blame balance, blame yourself, just get better. This is a statement I highly disagree with. To paraphrase Loco again, a hundred supply worth of carriers of the same value for a Diamond League player as for a Grandmaster player. A hundred supply worth of Marie Marauder Medivac is way less valuable for Diamond League than for a Grandmaster League player. This guy put dashes everywhere, man. I definitely didn't write this, but... The solution is not that the Diamond League player needs to get better, but that the Diamond League, Diamond League player needs an alternative. <sighs> this guy is very bothered over- like, I think he probably played like three games and he got very, very frustrated by it. Yeah, he, he did his homework. I- yeah, I don't- I don't think what he's saying is particularly smart, but I think it's kind of funny that, you know, he brings me up there. Limiting, like artificially limiting APM though, is one of the absolute worst balance suggestions I've ever heard. That is so funny. <laughs> Paraphrasing Loco. Ah no, that's unreasonable. No, 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 I said it was reasonable. Hold up right now. Slash R slash Netherlands. The usual suspects of car traffic in the Netherlands. Yep, I get a stereotype in my head for every single one of these cars right away. <laughs> Which is probably a bad thing, but anyways. Uh, I don't know which article you're- or this? There are no borders in the European Union, however, you will always know where the Netherlands begins. <laughs> this is the core- this is Belgium, for sure. Yeah. This- this is Belgium right over here, this is the Netherlands, right over there. It's obvious. It's very obvious. That's the- yeah, this is the one you saw? I see. A hundred percent that this is- that this is Belgium. Yeah, has to be. The roads in the Netherlands are considered quite good. I think uh, it's it's like I think the Netherlands is like second highest ranking or something in the world when it comes to like road quality. I think Singapore is like first, if I understand correctly. But <laughs> Jesus does a little trolling. Yeah, yeah, that sucks, dude. There was a bit of a storm coming through a couple days ago. Cycling in the Netherlands. I never go to this subreddit. Should I be Should I be here more often? Top ranked this year. Let's see. Rappers in the streets. I was raised in the streets. Streets in the Netherlands. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Living a tough life out there, man. There are some streets in the Netherlands, I'm sure, but there you have to you have to go out and find them. It's not something that is as easily found. The Dutchiest video ever. That's a silver league. Oh. Oh yeah, I've seen this before. I forgot about that one. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, the seagulls get aggressive. They know they know you are absolutely no 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 yeah. No problem. A sparrow did that to you once while you were eating fries? Ay ay ay. He could have poked out her eye, though. Yeah, she should be grateful. That was only like, maybe two euro. So, you know. post -Sanel doesn't play? What did they say? Dear post -Sanel, do you mind that you're poisoning the lungs of our one-year-old son that are still under development several times a day via diesel fuel vapors? We're working on it. However, this does take some time. I see that you live in the middle of Amsterdam. In the meantime, look differently at Funda for a nice house in the countryside if you're so concerned about the health of your little one. <laughs> Let's go, Postanel. Get him. <laughs> That's funny. What is an incredibly Dutch thing that the Dutch don't realize is Dutch? Yeah, the Dutch are known for being very straightforward. This is very straightforward for sure, yes. Toilet birthday calendar? Toilet birthday calendar is in every Dutch home, okay? This is very normal indeed. You should all take over the Dutch toilet birthday calendar, yes. This is a yearly calendar where everybody you know, their name is written down. And usually it's like one page for each month. So say, for example, right now it's the month of July, everybody you know has their birthday on it. So while you're taking a shit, you can just sit there and look at whose birthdays is coming up. Yeah, toilet calendars, dude. I didn't realize that this wasn't a thing. 
It's not a terrible idea. Why do you automatically assume anything Dutch is a terrible idea, Hark Never? <laughs> the krill? The flourish of approval? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Wait, this is not a thing in other countries? You get these in school. You know you got a krill when you're, you're, like, your teacher was like, and you're like, oh, I did something right. A flourish of approval. I like that. A mostly Dutch symbol used for grading schoolwork? Yeah. No, this is, I'm, this is for real. I'm not trying to fool you. This is for real. I have never thought about this being a Dutch thing. Congratulating me while my girlfriend has her birthday? This is very normal, yes. In the Netherlands, when you go to a birthday party, it is assumed you congratulate everybody, not just the person whose birthday it is. You're like, congratulations with your grandchild or something. I don't know, chat. I don't make the rules. The noises you all make? When reacting with confusion or shock, you hear, huh? When there's an explanatory, huh? There's also like the poah, poah. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> this is mostly young people, I think. Yeah, you wouldn't hear a lot of old people going, we, yo. No, that's not really a thing. Walking into a room and congratulating everybody individually? Yeah, one by one for somebody's birthday? Yeah. I've noticed in a conversation, whenever it's silent or there's a general mood of relaxation, people make a breedy, ha <sighs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. A simple cheese sandwich for lunch. There you go. Family birthday parties. There's no music. It's on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon. If you're having a birthday party in the Netherlands on a Saturday, I'm not coming, Chet. I'm sorry, but I'm streaming. I choose you over a birthday party, okay? Just so you all know. The entire family is there. Grandparents, uncles, aunts. Yeah. Inviting also friends. And not just family is strictly for... No, that's not true. That's not true. It depends on the size of the family. Like, most people don't have a very large home in the Netherlands, right? So, like, if you can't fit everybody in your, in your like, you know, living room, I, it's not going to be able to... But otherwise, no one wants to be there. True. Everyone sits in a circle. True. When you arrive, you have to congratulate everyone with the birthday of the person whose birthday it is. Yes. You eat cake and drink coffee. Many awkward silences. That very much so depends on the family, I think. No alcohol until 5 p.m. See, that's why you have a lot of awkward silences. My family does not have a 5 p.m. rule on alcohol. I'm not really much of a drinker, but uh, if you... Yeah, no, that's... That, see, these, are, these go hand in hand. The food sucks. Usually bolognese with cheese. I mean, I think that's also family. No, no warm food, usually. No, that's true. Around 8 p.m. it's time to go home and everybody is happy that can all go home. 8 p.m.? Mate, you just mentioned 5 p.m. Nobody goes to a birthday party in the Netherlands and sits there for more than three hours, okay? Three hours is the absolute max. Uh, it is not frowned upon to stay for like 30 minutes and leave. Maybe, maybe an hour and leave. Yeah. It is common. And maybe this is weird, actually. If you go to like a Dutch birthday party and get like an invitation or something, it is usually quite common to have like a starting time on, a, on the invitation, but also an ending time. I feel like the ending time... That's like, okay, guys, 7 p.m., it's time for you to get the f*** out. Uh, that is also, yes. There is, there is usually, there's usually a time included. You've never seen that before? And, and you know when you do stay over for too long? At some point, they'll just take the glasses and stop refilling them. Just if you don't get the hint. They're not going to specifically ask you to leave, but it will, made, it, it will be made obvious over time. I actually am a big fan of ending times, yes. Show up around 4, it is very common to have a birthday party that starts at like 1 p.m. until like 5 p.m. or something. Like for a family birthday party, that is very common, yes. 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. is also the perfect time, so you don't have to worry about making lunch for the people that are coming over, but neither do you have to worry about dinner. Yeah, it's more like coffee, cake, maybe some snacks. Get the f*** out. Yeah. It will usually, now it won't be explicitly mentioned, but it'll usually be like, do you want to come over for some cake and coffee at like, you know, between 2 and 5 or something like that. Yes. So it's not like ending time, colon, 5 p.m. Bye, Bye guys! Bye! See ya! Drive safe! Drive safe! <laughs> He's all <laughs> gone! Done! <laughs> Thank God they're all gone. Am I right? <laughs> Ellie! You're still here! Yeah. Well, it's been nice, but me. Mm? 
how about um, a cup of tea before you go? Thought you'd never ask. <sighs> you know, I really like this decor you got going on. Oh yeah, thanks. It's our uh, Pinterest. Nice. Hey, uh, what the f is happening? Okay, look, right. T signals end of the night. Okay. She'll be on in like five minutes. Okay. <laughs> this is very much so a cultural thing, dude. This is very much so a cultural thing. Uh, this wouldn't very quickly happen in the Netherlands, I don't think. So, um, how are you, how are you going? I'm good, thank you. How about Holly tonight, though? What about it? Oh, sometimes she just doesn't know how to read the room. Ooh. Yeah, like, <laughs> Jess was clearly uncomfortable talking about her ex-boyfriend and, like, she just kept asking questions. Right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess you've either got emotional intelligence or you don't. Mm. Not a truer word was spoken. So how's work for you? Oh, so tiring. Really tiring. Yeah. I've actually got a huge meeting tomorrow that I need to get a good night's sleep for, so... Yeah, it's just, um... It's big, long days, you know? Yeah, I feel that. Oh. Oh, thanks for helping. <coughs> you totally don't need to. Oh, you're welcome. You guys cooked. And the chefs need their rest. Thanks for coming, by the way. What is the correct approach here, guys? I'm trying to think of how this would be happening in the Netherlands. I can't even imagine really being in this situation in the Netherlands. No, you wouldn't just straight up tell some... Like, you, you can't just tell somebody to straight up leave, no? Just tell them to leave? Yeah, but you, you do it in the way that these people are doing it over here. There's no way you would go up to that person and say, Okay, everybody's gone, get the f*** out. No. I don't know. Thanks for having us. I'll, I'll host next time. Or... It yeah, okay. If it's a yeah, if it's a close friend, okay, sure. Oh, I do love seeing my besties' boyfriend in his pajamas. It's like seeing a teacher outside of school. Yeah, not a lot of people see us in our PJs. Only your besties, eh? Actually, that reminds me of a dream I had last night. It was like this house, but it wasn't my house. But it looked like my house, and I knew it was my house, but it didn't feel like my. <sighs> okay, okay. Next one. Next one. Sharing tea bags. As a student, I always share tea bags with my friends since one bag is too strong or is strong enough for two or three cups. Yeah. This is just Dutch people being cheap, okay? I think that's fine. Uh, if you ask a Dutch people or a Dutch person, is this tap water safe to drink? You never get a plain yes, but rather always the same speech about how water in the Netherlands is always safe to drink. How many times have you asked this to a person? Why do you keep asking the person? Maybe they don't need to repeat themselves if you remembered. What? <laughs> I don't understand, Kelmer. This doesn't seem like an issue. It seems like a you problem. Saying super a lot? Hmm. I don't know, maybe. The signs on the yard or on the windows with the name of the baby when one is born and perhaps also birthday cards that we send when a baby is born? Or birth cards? Wait, is that not a normal thing? Do people not send cards? When a baby is born? Very normal in the Netherlands, yes. <sighs> I feel like that happens most of the time. Yeah. Carts are a thing in Australia too. I guess it depends, uh, again, it's, it's cultural, right? It depends, I guess, from country to country. Uh, what's this, guys? The Gateway Man? Okay. Apes can play. The Gateway Man is slowly turning into monkey again. That's okay. Ooh, I made these for fun. I thought I'd share them. That's pretty sick, dude. Although I don't think anybody in StarCraft ever uses the arrow keys. It seems pretty bad. But these look nice. Banes do zero damage to Neo Humanity Cooling Tower from the high ground? <laughs> Nora, why are you running your Banes into the... <laughs> That's actually insane. They do no damage. <laughs> That's amazing. When you're doing the cheesiest and Mimi is built in history and they don't scout. Twist that nut. Get it. Keep on twisting it. Do I have to move one more? I thought there was one over here too. Oh my god. There it is. Get out of the way! How did I move it while I was standing on it? Nobody knows. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank God, we made it somewhere. Cell door control. Oh. 
This is where the guy is sitting. <sighs> Update on Prisoner 73014. With the rest of the cells empty, I've begun the program of aggressive interrogation. I hope the screams have not kept you awake. He continues to insist that he is a common soldier, that his rank was accidentally torn from his uniform, and that he knows nothing about the Second Army's plans. I do not believe him. I've ordered the rations for the next three days. When next he's fit, I assume his gratitude will lose in his tongue. A final note. This work would be much easier if the officer wine rations were loosened. He can get in here? Oh, for f sake. He saw me. I didn't think he could see me. Now I'm gonna have to kill the German man again. He just ate? It doesn't matter, dude. I was the slowest guy in the party. But this does mean that I can use my wrench again, so that's kind of hot. Uh, I should probably turn on the generator. Can we not just capture the guy and send him after the French people outside? Or wait, no, I'm French. The German guy's outside? I forgot what side I'm on, I'm sorry. Loco, hear me out. Radical idea. No murder. I don't think there's a way for me to not murder him, to be honest. Like, I have to open his cell to get the wire cutter, but I don't think it's possible for me to not kill the guy. I can ask nicely. Bitte? Die uh, cutter de wire? I don't know what the French or German word for wire cutter is, but I think that'll do. In the hole. In the hole. Monster. 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 <laughs> okay, sorry, I won't do that to you. Um, here we go. There you go. Twist it. Keep twisting it. Very nice. The game said anything is possible. Lightsabers. I would like lightsabers in this game. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna open all the cell doors again, Chet. I'm gonna open this door. We're gonna flip all the switches. The cobble schneider? I love that word. I'm sorry, Hans. Am I a bad guy? Am I the bad guy, guys? I don't know. I might be the bad guy. I'm not exactly sure, though. I thought we were trying to save him? Oh, no, no, no. That's what guys in the chat were suggesting. I had no intention of such a thing. You could have saved him, Loco? No, no, no. Maybe? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Mm-mm. Twist it. Twist it. Ooh, there we go. Keep on twisting it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, one more time. Mm-mm. Very nice. I don't know if there's anything in any of these other cells, but I opened everything now. I could get out. But I was gonna say, um, I don't, I, um, bitte, bitte, der Teufel in die Halle, bitte. Ah, uh, this is my life now. I have become the German guy. Hello. Thank you, mate. So why didn't he kill the German guy earlier? I don't understand. There's a there's a hole right behind the German guy. I don't understand how the German guy lived for that long. Maybe maybe he just like French humans. 
Maybe he's a French uh, connoisseur. French food is better than German food. I would agree with that, yeah. Maybe he was saving the best for last. German food is the worst. German food is the worst. So I didn't realize that this was only going to be available for a moment. Hey, dude. Am I dead? Oh, the cell doors need power! That's what it is! Do you want to be wrenched? Okay, I was gonna twist his nuts, but... Let me try again. Here we go. Twist it. Very nice. It didn't work. It didn't work. It's a wrench logo, not a crowbar. If it was a crowbar, it'd be way too OP. We all know that. Hey, gamers. What are you guys protecting over here? Maybe there's some stuff I can find over here to make something that I can throw at you, let's. He was still in this hole? Okay, just kill me, mate. OMG, he's so cute. True, dude. John Delancey, oof. I tried to make Big Gape in 3D, how did I do? <sighs> Whoa, ooh woo. Amazing. When you're doing the cheesiest and memeiest build in history and they don't scout? <sighs> I did already see this one yesterday. Yeah, we already did see this one yesterday. Damn it, Loco. Threats.net slash Zug. Oh my god. I can't yet access uh, Threats, guys. Because I'm in the beautiful country of Europe. And in the beautiful country of Europe, we cannot yet access this. Is this what it looks like? I like, the, I like how clean this is, actually. Maybe, I, uh, maybe I'm crazy, but I really like how tidy this is. Look, his baby is learning what a threat is right over here. No, you can only do that on Android. Threats looks good, yeah. You can't access it yet on, uh, in the European Union at least. Because apparently they're asking to track literally everything. Apparently all the privacy things, they, they want literally all of it. There's no ads? No ads yet, Wayman. If you truly believe that Meta is not going to monetize uh, threats, I, uh, yeah, no, I hate to burst your bubble, but I don't think that's ever going to happen, no. Is that a new Twitter design? Basically, yeah. Hello, Alagdar. Alagdar says, microwave lasagna is so delicious. Is it, though? Don't get me wrong, lasagna is very nice. But, uh, microwave lasagna? I'm not sure. Look, I'm British, I'm on threats, so Europe should be able to get it. No, 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 no. This is the first benefit of Brexit, War Gunner. You're no longer part of the, uh, the privacy uh, enforcement that they have in the European Union. So you're allowed to sell your data by your own uh, decisions. I, I know, it's amazing. So in the European Union, sadly, um, you cannot yet access the app. Otherwise, I would be checking it out too, yes. Apparently, uh, uh, Buddy Warren is my source for this. Apparently, he says literally everything. So like when you install the app, you have like a list of permissions they ask for. Apparently, they ask for literally everything. To be fair, I have used Facebook for many, many years and I'm not really on it anymore these days, but I'm pretty sure the Zuck already has all my data. I use Instagram. I use WhatsApp. They even ask medical data. Really? Medical data? What kind of medical data do they have on me? I have no idea. Blo Zuck has your blood type and your retina scans. Oh, amazing. Marketing AIs have it all. I guess so. In order to uninstall threats, you must uninstall Instagram too? <laughs> that sounds amazing. Data linked to you. Health and fitness, financial info, contact info, user content, browser... Ooh, browsing history, guys. The Zuck knows all the dirty websites you've been visiting. Usage data, diagnostics, purchases, location, contact, search history, identifier, sensitive info, and other data? What is other data? Basically anything that we didn't already consider over here. Oh, are we talking about the Zuckinator? 
as he's Uyu kicks up all the data, but hey maybe we will see him fight Elon for most ruler of the internet. What's going on Gurgi, let's take it for 32. I don't think that's happening anymore, dude. I think Musk's mom basically told him he couldn't fight or something. It was like, ah, oh, you can't, f I don't know. It's a bit of a mess. It's funny how that works, man. A couple years ago, I think people thought Elon was kind of a cool guy, but now over the last few years, it's become kind of clear he's a bit of a jerk. I think now, interestingly enough, the Zug seems to be a more popular internet sensation than Elon. Can you believe that? Wouldn't have, ex what is this? Wouldn't have expected that a few years ago. You, have you looked at the Google info they have on you? They've deduced my marital status, home ownership, partner preference, education, and all. That's amazing. Yeah, it's not going to be very difficult for most of those uh, social media. They can figure out a lot. No cheese as far as I can tell. Normally the links run around my overlord when I'm at 19 supply. Actually, what am I doing? This isn't Zerk versus Terran, Loco. Hatchery first in ZVZ! That's amazing. Uh, I should have made an overlord. Sorry, I get so excited. I, I keep thinking I'm playing a ZVT here for some reason. Okay, I'll go for a faster third base in that case. Normally you don't take this one until a few supply later, but I guess it's fine. There is a bailing nest. So I don't really know exactly what his plan is, but... Really? We're gonna go for a third right now. Interesting. So I was planning on going for a big... Um, a big roach bush, actually. I think that's kind of fun, because I've been leaving my drones in gas here for a bit. Oh, me. For some reason, I didn't see those. No! Nice, Loco. Going full silver leak in this game. I'm gonna start droning again. <laughs> There's no drones! Jokes on you. Okay, this was actually kind of dumb by me. Okay, so how terrible is this situation right now, guys? I honestly can't tell. Like, it's not been clean by any stretch, but I do still have a good economy. Oh, he's the one now going for a roach push. Leave Brenda alone! Is he gonna commit? I think he is. Oh, he's got a whole lot of drones over there, though. Okay, maybe this isn't this isn't as great as I thought it was. Maybe if I had the lair done here, it'd be a little bit better, huh? Right now, it's all a little bit strange. Gonna get a lot of gas going, but not really anything with it. Oh my god, really? I don't think this is what he should be doing. Ha ha ha! Bottles on paint! <laughs> I don't think he's got a whole lot more other than just links and banes. He may very well be thinking about going into a spire here. So I do have to make sure I go for an attack, but... Maybe I should be the one going for a spire here. Ah. It is mute up play. I think I'm actually dead, guys. First loss on the account.
I don't know how many workers he's got. Like, I think I may have actually just been very far behind in that department here. I just didn't quite realize it. Oh god, it was a horrible fight. Somehow live? Okay, I gotta be very cautious here. I don't- I- I don't know. My only bet really is just one big p attack, but... Even then I'm not sure how this is ever going to work. My main concern here is his transition, so there's two options for him. Either he's gonna double down on Muta play, or he's going to... He is spreading creep towards me, which is very kind of him. Uh, or he's gonna go... Like, he's either gonna go switch back to Muta's, or he's gonna go switch into Banelings. Those are really the only two viable options. Okay. I have to go now. <sighs> this is my only option. He's been throwing away a lot though. This is a big indicator he's just had too much money. He may have burrowed Banes. Anyways, I need to win with this army basically, but I don't see how that's ever going to happen. I don't have enough. Why is he making hydras of his hook? <laughs> Whoa! What did I do? What the f did I do? Interesting. <laughs> I accidentally hit Alt Enter, I guess. That was not ideal. He played really well, actually. I derped out pretty hard with my early game unit control. Yeah, he controlled that really nicely. I accidentally hit Alt Enter. I guess it switches to windowed mode. There you go. I've never done that before, I don't think, in a game, but. He made some silly decisions, though, with the bailing roll buys. I actually think that made it way harder for him than it needed to be, but... Hey, a win is a win. First guy we play in Zerk vs Zerk, that goes hatchery first. Actually pretty good at playing hatchery first, too. It's pretty sick. Luck would do a typing test on the keyboard. I should do a typing test for the keyboard. That's actually not a bad idea. I don't know what my normal is, though. Maybe I'm just really inaccurate, you know? I mean, this one is particularly bad. But I think that's mostly me. No, I think I'm just bad. I think, I don't know. I feel like sometimes I, I... I have a key press that doesn't register, but maybe I'm mistaken. I don't use the hotkey M though while playing games. I think I was just missing, missing the letter M. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Skill issue? Maybe it is a skill issue. Getting used to another keyboard layout would kind of suck though. I do like my keyboard layout. There is something nice about picking up new peripherals though for your computer chat. Like for example, I noticed that Home Story Cup, a bunch of the guys were using death adders again, like the Razer death adder, the wireless one. So I was like, ooh, please tell me I'm not the only one. I'm like, ooh, mouse and keyboard? I, I have a Logitech mouse, yeah. That's what I've been using for a long time. This mouse is pretty great. It's a little small though. I feel like my hand is too big. Like, I don't know. This is the mouse. This is my hand. 
I, I like, you know, if I want to palm it, my fingers go like, <laughs> I don't know. It feels, uh, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel as, as, yeah, you have to claw grip it. I think Raynor uses a death adder, but I'm not exactly sure. You know what's separating you and Raynor, guys? It's his gaming peripherals. If you had the same mouse, keyboard, gamer chair, headphones, you'd be as good as him. That's how it goes. You'd have at least 500 APM. Yeah, that is true, uh, Hartnepper. No, he doesn't change his DPI. What Rainer does is he goes into the game settings and then he goes to options and he's like, ooh, today my mouse feels a little funky. I'm gonna change this slider. And he adjusts the slider by a few percentages every day. I would call that insane if it wasn't the fact that, you know, he's winning tournaments and I'm not. But I still find that absolutely mental to go into the settings and be like, I'm gonna adjust my mouse sensitivity today. That, that, no, he does that all the time. He does that, like, daily. I've never seen anybody do that before. I thought he was trolling when he first mentioned it, but he genuinely does it. Yeah, like a musician who tunes his instruments. Yeah. But then, like, it seems like he's tuning it away from perfect tune, you know? He's like, no, today I want my E kind of to be a slightly, slightly more sharp E. It's like, it makes no sense. <laughs> he moves it up a couple percent here and there, yeah. I don't know. He's doing very well, though. And if it does very well, like most of the StarCraft pros I know kind of treat it like a, like a spreadsheet, you know? Like the Flash ruler is really not that insane. Like Flash, the StarCraft Brood War guy, he used to bring a ruler to tournaments and he would like make sure that his setup was identical to his real life, you know, at home setup. So this was like a very common picture. I think he's doing, uh, or maybe he's done with his military service now. I'm not exactly sure. But whenever Flash was setting up at a tournament, this would be a common sight. So he'd literally bring a ruler out. To like make sure it's identical, which, you know, is one way to play. And then you have the guys on the other side of the, the spectrum that are like, I don't f care at all. I'm just going to adjust my mouse sensitivity and just, you know, I can, I can borrow somebody else's mouse and still be fine. It is actually kind of crazy. I've never seen anybody. Uh, most people are somewhere in between, I guess, but some people are uh, very deliberate and other people just very missy. Yeah. I think Day9 said he would practice on setting up differently because he noticed that problem. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think uh, accidental uh, hotkey problems are really what's causing me to lose games, though. <laughs> I think me playing like a donkey is probably my main problem. I actually don't really know exactly what most of the StarCraft pros use these days. Does Serral have like an overview below his stream? I think he used to back in the day. I don't know if he still does. What does Serral use? Yeah, yeah, he's got some shit over here. Glorious GMMK Pro 75% with Glorious Panda tactile switches. Okay. Vibrant per key RGB illumination. Programmable rotary knob. Ooh. I don't like that. Not a fan of the programmable rotary knob. I would never use it. Oh, this is one of those things you can customize entirely if you want to, right? Yeah, I've seen those before. They're actually kind of cool. Polycarbonate plate. So you can take your entire keyboard apart and add that instead. Kind of cool. I love this board. I have this. Of course you do, Echo Soldier. Echo Soldier's got a lot of stuff, man. I feel like if you ever go to Echo Soldier's place, he just got stuff. He's good. <laughs> You've probably got a lot. If Echo Soldier has it, I don't want it. No, I'm sure these are good. Bare bones. Choose a base. Oh my god. Customize your keyboard. Wait, it starts at 169. Okay. Brass. Mate. You can, you can make a stupidly expensive one. You can have 108 glorious pandas lubed. That only is 104 extra. Glorious lynxes lubed. You can also have them unlooped. Unlooped is half price. Loop or no loop, chat? A premium tactile switch without loop pre-applied for easy DIY lubrication. I wasn't gonna DIY my lubrication, glorious pen. So if I were to, see now it's already $300. Celestial fire? Another, dude, you can make a stupidly expensive keyboard here. Holy crap, 424. We're not even done yet. There's still a top frame. Put a frame on top of it, $500. You can change the color of your rotary knob. Fi literally $500. That's insane, dude. You can change your cable. Mate, is this a big business? 
are people actually casually buying $500 keyboards out there? Like, is that a common, common thing? I understand that you would get a lot of use out of this. That's not my, my point, but I, I have only ever used uh, Normie keyboards. Upper tree loves those. I would only ever buy anything if it gets the upper tree sell, uh, seal of approval, yeah. Cell charged you $500? There's peasants out there with keyboards worth less than $500? Yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I have never really gone down the, the custom keyboard rabbit hole. I don't like when the keys float like that. Like I want a little bit of I want I want a little bit of a of a, a protection around my keys. Okay, these floating keys I can just jam my fingers into the side of the key. Uh, that's not what I want, man. These are your work keycaps. Wait, you have a work keycaps? What does that mean? It's hot swappable. So wait, you change out your oh you change the key. Oh, okay, sorry, I got confused. When you said keycaps, I thought you were changing out the keycaps when you started the work week. Yeah, you change your keycaps at 4 p.m. Okay, no, I understand. I've seen these mice actually quite a bit. Yeah, the Model O, one for work, one for gaming. Which one is for work? Which one's for gaming, though? I honestly don't know. I would have picked the colorful one to be the work one, or to, to be the gaming one, but I honestly don't know which one is, is... The pink one's the gaming one? Okay, I see. I guess you need your F keys, right? That's fair. Yeah, F keys are definitely helpful. Bro, what is this? That is, oh my god, it's so vintage. It is modern vintage. I actually, I, I can get behind this, Luke, yes. Although I think it would, I would go crazy with keys on this side. I don't like the keys on this side, that's crazy. This does kind of look like one of those old school IBMs. Yeah, I appreciate the look though, I do think it looks nice. Are these looped though? Because if they're not, <laughs> yeah, if they're not looped. I would have to do it myself, and I don't know about that, man. Who needs a stream back when you have macro buttons on your keyboard? That's a good point. Actually, a good point. I have a lot of buttons though on my stream deck these days, but thank you, Fair Dragon. I'll keep that in mind, man. If I ever need help, they'll send you a message. This one's two hundred dollars. Bare bones knob. Mate, I have never gone down the rabbit hole of building my own computer. Or sorry, my own computer, sure. My own keyboard. How much has like keyboard technology improved in the last five years? Is it like actually a thing that gets progressively better? You would loop my bare bones knob. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Special edition between brackets. I think I'm a 80 percenter. I'm a, I'm a maybe a, s a split design. Ha! Ah, the f is this? I hate everything about this. Everything. I know this is gonna probably be more ergonomic, whatever. I don't care. I think I'm a 60 percenter. Yeah. No, I'm not. I like this, but I need F keys. Without F keys, I can't do anything. What is the, I think it's the 70 percenter. 70 percent? No, this is also cursed. Still need F keys. 80%? 80% low profile. No, 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 no. Not low profile. 80% wireless. Oh, we get back to this one again. You're a 100% ganger? I don't, I don't, they don't even sell 100%, dude. They don't even, oh yeah, they do actually. I really have no need for numpad, ever. 110%? That would be amazing. No keyboard without numpad for me. Yeah, but you probably have a real job. I have a fake job that doesn't require <laughs> punching in numbers. You, you actually contribute to society, unlike me. I just sit around and play video games all day. And when you play video games all day, the numpad doesn't come in very often. Kinda sucks, but yeah, it is what it is. Coders need numpads. Is that it actually? Like I feel like half of my chat is is software engineers. You guys you guys need numpads, I guess, huh? That makes sense. Wait, what? <sighs> Bro, is this real? This doesn't look real. <laughs> Can I like slide the thing back as well? Yeah, that's amazing. Has technology gone too far? Well, I guess it's it's circular is what we found out. At some point you got back to the start. We we came across this great subreddit at some point. It wasn't slash r slash mechanical keyboards. I don't think that was it. That was like another another subreddit that was cooler. I don't remember exactly. Slash r slash typewriters? No, 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 no. This is what you want, bunny. This is not a 100 and... No, this is like a 200% key. No, it's probably like a 500% keyboard. That's kind of sweet. Oh, it's slash r slash custom keyboards, that's it. I feel like we had this exact conversation not too long ago, Sumo. Ooh, this is very classy. Look at that. You, do you get the nail polish and whatever this is with it as well? 
Oh, they've got airpods. That's when you know you're dealing with a badass. Quite the flex indeed. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I actually think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Minimal with some flair. Okay. Why does the caps lock have the little little divot over there? I don't like the no 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 no. Ha! What's up with the caps locks? This guy is actually just flexing his watch, Chet. Do we recognize the watch? That's an El Primero. Did she just put it upside? Don't don't. What did you? Uh, is that just the case? I thought for a second he f like took a picture and stitched the two photos together and then made this. Okay. <laughs> Genuinely though? This is what you used to use in the 90s. Except, you know, slightly more modern, I suppose. I actually don't mind it. I actually... Dude, they're all these vintage looking things. That's so funny. I love how people have like backgrounds for their keyboards in these photos though. It's like they've they didn't just take a picture. They took a picture. It's very different. Yeah. It's like the Instagram of uh keyboards over here. Well worth the wait. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. All the hand wired keyboards I've designed and built over the last three months. Yeah, no, there's nothing here that I could ever use. Like, I could not use any of these. What is happening even? I don't know. What? It, huh? Why did you put it out in the rain? Can my keyboard get wet? Can I put it in the dishwasher? I'd put it in the dishwasher. Oh my god, why are your... Why are they tilted in... Uh, huh? That's, I guess, supposed to be the space bar? Then what is this? What are these buttons? Tilted space bar is okay. No, it's not. I have no experience with tilted, but I'm just gonna come out and say that it's not okay. <laughs> hey, look, it's a Protos player's keyboard. <laughs> Very nice. Purple? Okay. What the heck? What am I looking at right now, dude? Oh my god, it's got a rainbow underneath. You guys wanted full-size keyboards? I just want to see any, any, you know, tankyless keyboard even. Just any, you know, any regular layout. <laughs> People hate F keys. Oh, these are all Mac users? Ah, I see. Mate, there are so many keyboards here, but not... <laughs> like, you missed so many keys, but you got two space bars? Why do you have two space bars, but none of the other letters? Okay, he probably has all the letters. But... <laughs> okay. Random picture of a girl on his desk. Fair enough. Hey, look! A tankulous one, guys! Amazing. That is pretty awesome. Ooh, A slick numpad. I actually don't mind this. You can have your own custom numpad over here, guys. Now you can have a tankulous and a numpad at the same time. Low cot bagger. 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 Oh, you guys are having a moment. Low cot bagger. Low cot baggers. 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 Bagger. Low cot bagger. 
Low-cut bag. I could go for a burger, man. Low-cut bag. I mean a bag. Uh. Low-cut bag. I could go for a bag. Uh. All of all. <sighs> hey, thank you guys very much. That's a lot of support in a short amount of time. Bunny kicking things off. Actually, no. Andy. Andy kicking things off with 300 bits. Thank you, Andy. Bunny with 10 gifted subs. Laniac. I think starting up the hype train then with the prime sub. Thank you, Rokal Tira, as well for 400 bits. Heart Nepper. Oh, yo, yo, thinking uh, or, or donating 300 bits as we just heard. King Gammon with 500 bits. Bunny with 300 bits. Rokal Tira with a gifted sub. Heart Nepper with 300 bits. Actually, no, that was the second burger. Baga, I mean. And then Muktovas gifting nine community subs as well. Thank you, Heart Nepper, for the 600 bits, and thank you, Muktovas, for the nine gifted subs. Jeez, that was aggressive, man. And thank you, your Prime fan, for 100 bits as well. I'm glad that your favorite content of mine, the one that triggers the most financial support is whenever I go AFK. That means a lot, chat. That really warms my heart. This has been an ongoing thing. <laughs> oh, thank God he's gone. Time to drop the subs. <laughs> you donate to Lenny. I understand, man. I understand. Lenny is a bit of a legend. Yeah. Basically, the order is Lenny, Milo, Toby, Girlfriend, chair and then somewhere near the bottom loco yeah that seems to be <laughs> the best financial <laughs> there's a certain hierarchy here letty letty does really well yeah where's rushy on the list rushy is in in the beautiful country of england now bunny warren he was having a concert and believe it or not they were sitting outside for the concert and believe it or not, it started raining. <laughs> Rain? In England? Outside? There's no way. He sent a he sent a picture in the Patreon chat. I don't know if I can show you guys. But it was it was coming down. Oh, uh, this picture doesn't really show anything. Yeah, this is what Rushy linked earlier. Apparently this is where they were having the concert. And then it started raining. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but also kind of sad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they're doing an outdoor concert in England, though. I'm not sure, man. There's like a 50-50 chance. Even in, in July. Oh yeah, Russia is in the beautiful country of Europe. Is England still in Europe, guys? I don't know. I don't understand the details anymore. I think we lumped them together with Australia and New Zealand now. Isn't it how it goes? I just... Whoa. Alright. Name a better ego booster. I see. 12 years ago, I attended the NASL Season 1 in California, I guess? CA? Is that California? I guess so. Just wanted to share a few pictures. There's some old school programmers here, man. <laughs> that is not, you know, usually a greeting people do anymore. I think that's Sean, but fair enough. Yeah, it is day nine. These are pretty old, man. That's awesome. I beat Devil's Playground with the microtransactions, giving command modifier. No, what? It's possible to do the campaign with co-op mutators? God, microtransactions is the worst. Wait, how do you do this, though? That sounds awesome. Kit co-op on arcade? Is that what it's called? Oh, I have no idea that that was possible. That sounds... I, I, I mean, I, found, I find microtransactions not very fun at all. But maybe some of the others are actually really enjoyable. We can probably come up with something fun. Another run of the campaign. I was actually ready to start up another run for the campaign yesterday, and then I realized, wait a second. I actually still have to do uh, the Warcraft 3 campaign. I still have to finish that one. But I, yeah, I will be doing more. I, I picked out one actually yesterday that seemed really fun, but... It's called Three Races Co-op? The Three Races Co-op custom campaign is an option for each map to activate modifiers that are relevant to the map's objectives. Oh my god. That sounds pretty funny. I should try Mindhawk's Challenge Gauntlet? I've never done that before. Is it fun? 
What is Mindhawk's Challenge Gauntlet? I've read about it, but I like I've seen the name, but I, I don't actually know what it does. I think it's in the Giant Grand Games um, Custom Campaign Manager, right? It's fun and funny. <laughs> What's going on, Ari? Am I real? No, I am fake. I'm sorry, buddy. My cat's got huge. This this guy is a big boy. You want me to pick him up? I don't know if I can- if I'm allowed to pick him up. I can try. I can try, but I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh, oh. Oh, there we go. He's a big boy. Am I not literally allowed to do this? All right, all right, I'll put you in the chair. Now I'm gonna have cat hair all over my shirt, dude. Anyways. Release me. He's not, he's not happy. Mano's actually been hoarding a lot of attention over the last couple 16 days. 16 probes, 16 pylons, and I'm warping in. And Terran's sweating already, knees weak, arms heavy. There's cheese on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface, he looks c He looks calm and ready to drop nukes, but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down the supply cap goes so- It almost worked, Hypoelectric. You almost got it to work. Thank you very much for the resup, I appreciate you. Milo's been hoarding a lot of attention over the last couple days. I'm not exactly sure as to why. He used to be a very snuggly kitten, and then we got Toby. And he's like, what the f- what are you doing? Why did you do that to me? I- I didn't ask for that. Anyways, uh, he's slowly starting to like, yeah, get back into the swing of things. Uh, I think he's meditating or something, I don't know. Either that or he's considering my murder. Yes, human. I shall punish you for picking me up like that. I never gave you permission to go ahead and do so. My revenge will be swift, and when you least expect it. Yeah, no, we'll see. Anyways, he's been very snuggly lately. Is that cat hair on my headphones? Or cat hair on my headphones, fantastic. Alrighty, um, you wait. You posted a picture of your cat on Discord. Your cat does the same thing. Hi, there Loco. we go. Haven't been in chat for a few months. Dude, this is like a Twitch chat reunion today. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back, Hawkeye, as well, for the one year of resub. Good to see ya. Uh, quite a few people apparently that haven't tuned in in a while and decide to tune in again. What happened today guys? Why why today? There's like four or five people that I've already mentioned that Vacation is over. Oh, you guys are back in the office. Is that what you're saying? You're like, ah, we're back or maybe working from home or something. I See no more holidays Time to get back to the important stuff aka watching live streams while pretending to work on the other monitor Zerk is the disease and cure is the nuke all right, let's have a look. He's really living to this name. He is really believing as well, so... I will believe as well as... You know, as well as you were saying that uh, he wants to get there. Yo, those overlords! That's actually painful. Oh my painful. goodness, this is a nuke, guys. This is a nuke. BOOM! From the <laughs> <laughs> BOOM! That was my Wardy cosplay. That was like eight overlords. Not bad. A pink dolphin is caught in a net? So it was asking me to rescue its friend? Hey, mate. Step Dolphin is stuck? No, Chad. Chad, no. It's a shiny dolphin, yeah. Duff the Hunter be getting very excited right now about his shiny dolphin. It seems to have left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins had mates. <laughs> Dave is figuring out the beauty of nature. Can I shoot this thing? He's been attacking me. Ow! Jeez, okay, fine, I won't. I'll just get some regular sushi. There you go. Got the whole family. Okay, chat. Um, harpooning is for losers. <laughs> Jeez. Guns are efficient, aren't they? Okay, okay. L maybe I shouldn't be an idiot. If you exceed your weight limit, you will slow down? Ah, oh, shit. I 
can't just hoard all of the things. It's okay, it's okay. As long as I'm slowed down, it'll be fine. Is this how they fish in America? Probably, yeah. With guns. We use dynamite? That's amazing. I'm running out of air. Am I okay? Game's a little panicky when it comes to that, isn't it? There's still oxygen around here, but I guess my backpack's full, so I'll be getting out. Okay. I caught 10 fish. It's pretty good. Why is there still a notification on my phone? Oh, it's from the weapon shop. Is this his... <laughs> Duff's little app icon is himself with bunny ears. Or cat ears? Whatever you want. I guess those are cat ears. That's amazing. Somebody gave me cat ears to wear at Home Story Cup, and then they took a picture of me, and then they took the cat ears off me again. I don't know whatever happened to that picture, Chet. But uh, anyways, somebody was like, hey, can you wear this? Let's take a photo. I was like, uh, okay. Mickey Mouse ears would suit you? Bro, I went to Disneyland once. Those Mickey Mouse ears are so overpriced. I think they were like $25 back then for like those stupid plastic ears. That was like eight years ago, though. I guess they're probably like 50 bucks at this point. I would not go to Disneyland and buy those stupid ears. Hey, there's the picture! See? Where did you find that so quick? <laughs> How did you get that so quickly? Also, I clicked your link, Lathriness. I, I had to click that I was over the age of 18. I don't know why it popped up this warning. Loco drunk as a bat? What? No, I had like three drinks in like three days. The person who took it, send it to me? Oh, that's so funny. I'm glad I've got some 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 actual proof to, to back up my story every once in a while, because... The bunny- wait, really? The ears at Disneyland are $40 now? Uh, I need some British viewers in the chat to confirm whether or not this is true. I just found this on Twitter. How to measure like a Brit. What are you measuring? Speed. Miles per hour. Okay. Distance? Is it a long distance? No. You use meters, feet, and inches. Is it a long distance? Yes. And are you jogging? You use kilometers? However, are you jogging? And the answer is no. It's miles. Okay, temperatures? Okay, we do we do centigrade, yes. Mass? Are you weighing people? If yes, you use stones and pounds. If no, kilograms or kilos, grams, tons, and tons. Alright. Volume, is it beer? Yes. Pints, is it no? Is it milk? No. Liters? Is it cow's milk? Yes. Pints? Is it vegan milk? We use liters again. Is this accurate? You've never used tons? I've seen you use it tons of time, bunny. So you would say, yeah, that fence is 6 meters tall and 10 meters long? That makes sense. Would pints be used for ice cream? I guess ice cream can be made from cow's milk, so probably, yeah. What's going on, Rumpus? How are you doing today? We were just making fun of the Brits. You came at the perfect time, Rumpus. Where do we get our info? I don't know. I found it on Twitter, so it must be true, right? But I decided to fact check regardless. You use tons for weight? Oh, not T-O-N-S. I see. You add an extra syllable that is silent. A silent syllable. Very nice. My favorite type of syllable. Do you think there's anything exciting going on on the StarCraft 2 subreddit today, guys? I haven't had a look yet, I don't think. Unless I went over there by habit and I don't remember. Oh yeah, no, I did see this. Oh god. Jimmy upskilled by AI. So this is the original art. <laughs> Jimmy looks amazing, dude. Monobrows are all the rage in the Caprulu sector. Everybody knows it. Monobrows... I certainly can't grow a monobrow, so I would never be considered to any anywhere even remotely attractive in Caprulu, but... Yeah, this is what uh, Kerrigan uh, is excited for, Chet. Yeah. This is what Sarah is attracted to. It is what it is. He looks like Chris Pratt. No, no, no. Chris Pratt looks like Jimmy. Okay. StarCraft players arguing which race is overpowered. True. We all know it's Terran, but true. Not Protoss. Nobody's out there arguing that Protoss is overpowered, actually. No, there, nobody. This We can remove this one. What if Blizzard kept Jim's monobrow until StarCraft 2 and just kept it on the remaster? I agree, dude. This is a very cursed title of a, a post, by the way. What if Blizzard kept Jim's monobrow until StarCraft 2 and just kept it on the remaster? 
<sighs> it's like I'm reading a Facebook post. Be honest, do you even want StarCraft 3 to happen? What are you what are you hoping for? Nothing special. Do you even want it to happen? Of course, dude. Will it be good? Probably not. StarCraft getting acknowledged? Mate, the StarCraft community is really grasping for straws, okay? So, Quake recently tweeted about... Ah, light mode! Ah! He recently tweeted about um, the BlizzCon key art, right? And the StarCraft community was up in, in, in shambles. I don't know how far I'm gonna have to scroll down. Because it turns out they did not put any StarCraft. On the Blizzard key art. Actually, let me just find it real quick. Uh, BlizzCon key art 2023. Here's here's the official artwork for BlizzCon this year. There is no StarCraft on it, unless there's a Dark Templar. Yeah. Anyways, so this morning, Quick, who's the president of Blizzard, tweeted this. I was like, "Huh, I've seen that before." And then I saw this. I'm like, "Yeah, I most definitely have seen that before." And the StarCraft community is getting excited because there is StarCraft on this stuff, right? There, there's Nova over here, we got Kerrigan hanging out. Guys, this is artwork from BlizzCons ago. This is multiple BlizzCons ago. This is official artwork from years back. We're really grasping for straws now in the StarCraft community, guys. Things are becoming a little pathetic, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, guys, guys, quick, tweeted something that had a StarCraft character in it. Starcraft getting acknowledged. It's beautiful. What would a campaign plot of Starcraft 3 be? Oh my god. Guys! No! Stop it! There's a lot of copium going on. Hope is back, guys. Starcraft dead. Stay tuned for more info. I was seeing the new pick about BlizzCon from Mike Ibarra. It had Kerrigan on it, and I saw this in the comments. From a random guy! Called Xbox underscore underscore screens! He's got an 8-ball in his title, or in his nickname. We need, yeah, we need the extended version, like the extreme version of Copium. This is not even Copium anymore. Dopium? Is Dopium like an extra term? Yeah, Dopium would probably be... Oh, he's the CEO of Xbox Hong Kong? Is he actually? It was BlizzCon 2014? Jeez, that's a long time ago. <sighs> Twitter.com slash Xbox underscore screens. No, this is nothing to do with Xbox Hong Kong. This is just a random guy. Video games? Question mark. Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, hashtag PlayStation 4. These are levels of copium that have never been reached before, guys. What they did for Diablo 4 is making me optimistic. Hopefully they will deliver a good game. Bro, there's not a Star... Oh my god. I think what a lot of people forget is that it's not a company that makes video games, okay? It's people. It's it's not like... It's, it's a group of people in a company that make video games. It's not the company itself. And all the people that are good at making RTS games are no longer at Blizzard. Loco, can I call you on, Ur on Discord? It's urgent. Oh god. What is it? Hello, hello. Are you here? I, I am here. What's up? Okay, a chatter in my chat claimed. Um, <clears throat> let me let me just read it. The quote: um, "I suggested the dark maneuver attacking your own broodlings with the broodlord to Loco like two years ago, and he said that it probably wasn't all that valuable in chat." <laughs> yeah. So I would like you to go through his chat logs. Okay. Wait. Wait. Where can I find this? Uh, okay. Slash user minter again. I'll type it in your chat. Okay. Oh, you want to call him out on... Uh, okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, no, he can't you. lie in my chat and make stuff up about you, mate. I got your back, don't worry. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, there's a okay. chance he mentioned it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a User chance, but... mint... I I'm glad that this is urgent. We gotta well, get through this. It was, wasn't it? I needed to know. He was slandering, potentially slandering your name. I have your back at all times, Loco, don't forget that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, the last time he wrote something was last year. Literally, just over a year ago. So when did he okay. say this happened? Two years ago, two years ago. So we need to scroll a little bit. Oh, we're gonna have to scroll quite a while. He hasn't said anything in my chat. And did it just say something for the first time? Because it scrolled automatically all the way down. This is Can gonna be tricky to find. F2 chat or no? Brood, Ooh, yeah. brood war. Brood war. He said nothing about brood lord. No. Yeah. Um, that is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> 
Very uh, interesting, Loco. Yeah, no, you're definitely do, do, right. Do we consider this matter solved now or no? I mean, if he can find the message himself, I would say then it's, you know, there's still a chance, but... There's still a chance, but for now, unlikely. Well, he said it was two years ago, guys. Yeah, two years. I mean, I'm not great at math, Loco, but 2023, two years is 2021, <laughs> right? We even scrolled back to March and February, surely. Loco in its prime would have squashed Showtime. I don't know what this is about, but I'm glad um, this is this message is correct. <laughs> this yes. guy seems really nice as well. <laughs> <laughs> know, this guy's the biggest hype man. <laughs> All so of these sweet. messages are actually really nice though. Try to split your units more oh, against Archons. It. There you go. That's good advice. You, you see it? Someone someone posted it in your chat. Oh, I missed it. Would yeah, it be yeah. a good? Oh, okay. Wait, Wayman found it. Would be a. In 2020? How in the world did you find a message from him from 2020, Wayman? Would it be a good idea with Brute Lords to fire them all at a Ling and then fire more Brute Lings at those Brute Lings and attack with a huge wave of Brute Lings? <laughs> he did! Two oh years before. God. How sick is that? <laughs> that's not even two years ago, man. That's nearly three, three years. Yeah. That's sick. A true gangster. I'll VIP him in my chat. I almost slandered him now. This yeah. guy is a legend. All right. Well, thanks for clearing that up, Loco. No Much worries. No worries. Enjoy I'm your glad to help. Stuff. See you, buddy. <laughs> yep. See ya. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that, guys. Dark. Dark, apparently. Way behind. Minter. Minter again. Way ahead of the meta. How in the world did you find that way, man? Is there a way to load people's messages all in one, like, file? And then to, like, control F it? Because that seems... Did, like you scroll, you just scrolled up, you just scrolled to the top and hit control plus F. Yeah, but he had more than a thousand messages. Whoa, that makes it so much easier. Slash viewer card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what, <laughs> what was that with Locobot timing him out 17 times? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna send this as a screenshot to uh, to uh, to Harstam. Uh, it says only four timeouts, but I'm gonna send this as a screenshot real quick. I think it's actually a glitch. I I th <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think it's a glitch. So wait, what is Harstam up to on his channel then? Look at the timestamp, Loco. Oh, he's just sitting here flexing with his rank 15 Grandmaster. That's all that's going on. I, I see how it is. Only four timeouts. That's a bit embarrassing. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha I mean, we're gonna get it, no? We are very close now. Actually, the structures in the bottom might be a problem. That's a little disappointing though, dude. Minter again, disappearing in my chat, and then reappearing in Harstems? After all these years of commitment, following for nearly like, what was it, five plus years? Reappearing on another man's Twitch channel? This guy doesn't take his Dutch streamer seriously. He only appears on, on very specific ones. Maybe he only, like, he used to maybe watch Roddy. Then he used to watch me, now he's watching Harstam. Next he's gonna watch Grubby. You thermal maybe in another two years? Oh, there's there's Minter again in the chat now all of a sudden. Yeah, okay, I see how it is. This is why he's called Minter again. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. You guys are right. What's this? Sorry for the people watching this on speakers with dogs nearby. Is it getting annoying yet? <laughs> Guys in the chat, not prepared for this. It's okay, look, I'm in a Zoom meeting. Wait, you're in a Zoom meeting? You're in Twitch chat. You rebel. There's three mods in the chat currently. Yeah, Mugetsu, Motlesses, D the Hunter. I saw, uh, I saw Lefrinus here not too long ago as well. Andy was here? Yeah. There's so many mods secretly judging your every message right now, chat. Every single one of them. Up for inspection. There's too many mods. Yeah, we should get rid of one of them. Which one do I get rid of? If you had to pick one. Gabe? Wait! The other mods are saying Gabe? What the heck? 
Wow, dude. Very toxic behavior here by the other moderators. Peter, man, such a bully. Who should be unmuted? Whoever wrote this, this poll. Gabe Mugetsu, the guy who spams YouTube. <laughs> Loco TV. <laughs> I like the options. These are great options. Wait, you guys want me unmodded now? I call that straight up toxic, Chet. Sadly, Chet, this is not a democracy. It's true. You're stuck with me, guys. I will be the supreme ruler of this chat. Or see it burned to the ground. Loco TV should be unmodded from the channel. The people have voted. Yeah, the people have spoken. Alright, chat. <laughs> Bye. Lenny can take over the stream. Lenny TV. Does that mean we win? I don't know what it means, guys. Who gets to inherit my stream when I die, Chet? Who gets to inherit my social media account? They're probably the most valuable thing I own. <laughs> Hold up right now. Who? who <laughs> we don't even need to vote, Loco. It's Lenny? Lenny, of course, yeah. The person with the most Lenny's wins? That's a convenient answer, Nolan. Nolan, how many Lenny's are you sitting on right now in the chat? Just curious. 2.7 million? <laughs> Nolan is a Lenny... Lenny Nilliar... Lenny Nilliar? Sure, let's go with that. 2.7 million. He's a Lenny hoarder. Yeah. You're at 900k. You got 1 million. YouTube comments are the ultimate art form. Yeah, it's true. It's my favorite art form too. Michelangelo, uh, Michelangelo, Leonardo, YouTube comments. Those are my f oh. <laughs> it's just like the Marines all over again. Oh, jeez. That is the one time in that one YouTube video where the YouTube comments were not nice to me. Most of the time, the YouTube comments are really, really... Yeah, positive. Oh, that's so funny. Why do I keep killing my own units? It's honestly something that I do surprisingly often. This has gone on long enough. Time to die. That wasn't it? There's more? I must get to the void seeker and preserve the prophecy. I will not what? Let my brother I can burrow now, but Oh I can tunnel! What? Tunnel? Leave me alone, Zero Tool. There's a little bridge though. Jimmy, what waha? No more games. The evolution continues. This is confusing though, right? It's not just me, right? Okay. I think I'm actually dead. Don't get in my way. No more games. No more games, dude. I agree. So games are for children. I found out recently there's adults that play video games. Fucking embarrassing. This like, people have no shame these days. Uh, this was obviously off to a terrible start. I wonder if I can still complete it. Because that took a lot of damage before I realized that this is not Burrow. Yeah, I let, I let you know, Zero Tool attack me a few times before crossing the bridge. Don't judge. Okay. I use Disease Spell, but it doesn't work on Archons. This has gone on long enough. Leave me alone! Give me my tunnel! What are you doing? This is my world. I must get to the void seeker and preserve the prophecy. Okay, I got memed. I will not let my brothers... Yeah, I can't use the Z ability on uh, Dark Templar and stuff. I don't know why. I guess technically, yeah, telekinetically target a unit, but it, it only works in stalkers, not on Archons and Dark Templar and stuff. Does it work on that guy? Don't get in my it way. It does not seem to work on that guy. But I can just go around. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Kill Zeratul. 
Wait, play. what? You were supposed to kill Zeratul? While he was trying to escape on this path? I so teleported don't. away from Zeratul. Wait, do I have to go back? I, I think he bugged out. Mindhawk did not consider that somebody could be as dumb as me and somehow get ahead of the guy that is supposed to be chased. Like the chasee became the chased somehow. I think he's just chilling by the bridge. <laughs> this is not Zeratul, no. This is one of his brothers. Sarah Fool. So predictable. Sarah Duel. Should be easy to get him. I mean, he's got a million HP. He's got 2000 HP. I've got 190. But he doesn't say much either, you know? Maybe Cat got his tongue. Oh no. I think he's, uh, I think this is bugged out. No, that wasn't him. Was it? was that him? He looks identical, no? Am I crazy? What a mission, dude. I like how we do the previous one in like heartbeat. My Z ability doesn't work on, um, it insta-kills units, but not all units, even though it doesn't specify. This has gone on long enough. So here's Zera tool right here. Fucking attack him! And preserve the prophecy. I, will not let my I can't attack him! Be in vain. Don't get in my way. So First try! Didn't even struggle. Smooth sailing. Maybe while he's talking, he's invulnerable, you know? That's the same for me. I'm also invulnerable while I'm talking. So in order to make sure that I don't get any scary diseases or something like that, in order to maintain my invulnerability, I just keep talking a lot. That's why I talk for hours every day, chat. It's just a fear of death. Mission doesn't actually end, though. I had to reveal him with my sandstorm. <laughs> sandstorm? <laughs> Sahara attack! Razor Swarm. Summon a storm. I guess it's a storm. Yeah, I guess it's a storm. Still have the achievement. That's a banger, man. That is an absolute banger. What is this? It's a gape link. Always risky. Harry Squatter and the Prisoner of Astagrass? Oh god. <laughs> Stronger. Remember Astagrass. I killed Sirius's squat just as I killed this workout. This is so dumb! Honestly, don't you two read? It's Livio Squat, not Livio Bounce. Spotter, your form is appalling. 50 grams of protein. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> Yeah, we should be assigned 50 grams of protein every time we do something wrong. Shouldn't have told you that. I should not have told you that I lift 500 pounds. Hagrid's OP, dude. Harry, For sure. It's not our muscles, but our choices that show what we truly are. <laughs> My father will hear about this. My pull ups are far superior than. Wait, who's this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be Draco? I'm not sure, man. Potters. Why me, Harry? I feel like I've been attacked by a hippogriff. <laughs> They're all drinking protein our bodies, shakes. Potter, from flabby to fit. Transfiguration is a precise art. <laughs> oh, dude, Voldemort with the nose as well. That's amazing. Yeah, Draco Malfoy is actually a Targaryen. I had no idea, man. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, if wizardry was real, everybody at at Hogwarts would be ripped. That, that would be one of the main types of magic that people would focus on. Let's be real. Every guy at Hogwarts would be like 100 kilos, but like, you know, 5% body fat year-round. It'd be very cursed. <laughs> yeah, and that's just the start of it, man. That's a very good point. Kids would definitely die for very, very dumb reasons. Completely unnecessary ones, too. Yeah. Wingardium Bicus Dickus. It would just, it would just be insane. Not safe at all. 
That's the first spell you try? Yeah. <laughs> Anacondas tickets. <laughs> it really does sound like a Harry Potter spell. Yeah, no, I don't know, man. The more I think about Harry Potter, the less I believe it. Like, oh, here's the Storm Marine video. Oh, God. This is a video from five years ago. Back when you could see the YouTube dislike to like ratio. I mean, it's got zero dislikes. Let's leave it at that chat. Zero dislikes on this video. Anyways, I uploaded this video just like any others. And then I looked at the YouTube comment section. I was like, oh my God, people are so angry at me. What's going on? I thought this mission was very, very hard. It was very difficult. What's the problem? Turns out the Marines in this zero two mission are friendly. And I spend a lot of time Sitting back, storming my own marines. And this is a bit of a classic. And I have moments here where I literally go AFK for five minutes, waiting for Zeratul to regen, like, his energy. Because I didn't realize they were friendly. They're, for my, for what it's worth, I replayed the campaign since then too. It is not very clear that the marines are friendly. It is not 100% obvious. They are blue loco. Yeah, but just because the smurfs are blue doesn't mean they're friendly. Loco, at minute nine, you walk past them and they're not attacking you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I literally... <laughs> I still don't get it, bro. Look at my face. I look like I'm like 12. Anyways. But you know what? Yeah, here. See, I make a good point. I completed this without the help of the Terran. Which made the mission a whole lot more difficult. He actually had to A-click on those marines to kill them. <laughs> I always A-click though. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Anyways, I actually don't know what the... Uh, I can probably find out what the like-to-dislike ratio is. I don't know what the bad... Or, or how bad it is. Let's see. I can't see it. I think it's somewhere though in my YouTube analytics. Anyways, long story short. Wow, that video actually still had some views over the last month. About 3,000 people have watched that video. Interesting. Like, over the last 28 days. Dedicated hate watchers. Yeah, sometimes when you have a really <laughs> day, and you want your day to feel a little bit better, you go watch me fail at video games. I don't even know video game dudes that are A1. It's a religious Out name. Iman. Is it really? Something like that. Amon Ra? Yeah, I guess that would work. What does Amon mean? I guess the god Amun is a Egyptian god. Something like that. I'm not sure exactly how it works though for Amon. Oh, you guys are not wrong, by the way. Amun, also known as Amon, aka Amon. After the Amarna period, Amun was painted with blue skin. Really? He was one of the Smurfs. <laughs> also, that helm of his is amazing, bro. Look at that guy. That is, I don't know what it is, but it's something. I actually have never made the connection that Amon, who is the hidden one in the StarCraft lore, I guess. His symbol is two vertical plumes, the ram-headed sphinx. All right. The Greek equivalent is Zeus. I'm more of an Amun guy. I, I'll be honest with you, yeah. Amun depicted with Seti the First in the temple and chapel at Abydos. All right. There he is, man. Seti, why are you pulling his beard? A little disrespectful towards the moon, no? Oh, he oh he ch he got changed. Okay, so he wasn't always blue. He wasn't always blue. Zeus Amon, a Roman copy. So the Greeks just copied him. They all also had Amon, also known as Zeus. Looks like he's got a tan. That's actually funny. I never actually considered that. So Amun, also known as Amon, it's actually just a f reference to an Egyptian god. And now we pronounce it Amon rather than Amon. The Greeks copied Egypt and the Romans copied Greeks. Yeah. That's actually kind of funny though. Yeah, that's actually interesting information. I had no idea. And then Blizzard copied them both. Everybody's copying everything. Yeah. The question is, are, are the Egyptians the real OGs? Are they the first ones that came up with Amun? I think the Egyptians also copied other civilizations, right? With at least some of their sh They copied the Babylonians? Did they really? When were the Babylonians? Also, where is Babylonia? <laughs> no, Babylonia was after the... F well, it was also during, but... 
It started way later than the Egyptians. No, 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 no. That, that doesn't really... No, 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 no. They copied the Zelnaga, probably, yeah. The Zelnaga were before the Egyptians. That is very possible. We probably lost a little bit here and there, though. That's very true. Huge swaps of WoW is Greek mythology? Halo has biblical passages? Really? I mean, you know, the opening screen of Halo does make it pretty, uh... Like, you know, when you opened that for the very first time, when you were like, you know... When was this? Like, 2002? You're like, the f*** did I just open up? Thought I was buying a video game shooter. Suddenly you're, you're listening to uh, Gregorian monks or whatever. <laughs> Wait, the volcano went boom yesterday? I mean, the game is called Halo, that's true, yeah. Uh, so for those of you unfamiliar, uh, oh, this is life? It is life. There is a active uh, volcano currently uh, over in Iceland. Argal actually lives right here in the background somewhere. Um, right over there. Last time we checked this stream, it didn't look like this. It had a hill. This has been going on for about a week now, yeah. It's been going on for a while. Actually insane, though. The hill went boom? Did it really? Can we, can we see when it went boom? No, I didn't really go boom. It just melted, I guess. Oh my god. Oh, sh this is during the night. Lava is glow in the dark, chat. Did you know that? <laughs> Whoa, dude. This is three in the morning. I didn't know you guys had night in Iceland. So this is only the last 12 hours, yeah. There's about two hours of night. <laughs> Genuinely insane, dude. There's about two hours of night and the rest is all just daytime. Is that a lava lamp, Loco? Yes. The forbidden lava lamp. The loom on that lava, dude. Look at that. It is kind of hot. I don't think you can swim in it, no. Well, you can, but not for long. Yeah, if you rub that in your face, you wouldn't regret it for very long at all. How long can you stand on this? Like, does, do, do you sink very quickly? Or is it more like a slow sink? How does this work? How thick is it? Like, it's a rock, I get that, but like, do you sink at all? Do you just walk over it? Do I just instantly start burning? How does it work? Do I catch on fire immediately? Do I melt? I don't think I would explode. Would I? You mostly just evaporate? Really? I would instantly vaporize? That makes no sense, I don't think that's true. It depends on what part, I guess. This is definitely gonna be way colder than over here. I would be sautéed. Sautéed? I don't... No, okay. I feel like... I feel like I could jump over it. <laughs> I mean, when do I burn up, chat? Hypothetically speaking, right? Do I die? Like, I definitely die if I step in here, right? I'm probably f***ed anyways. What if I'm over here, though? Would I be okay? It's very hot, of course. How hot is it over here? Where, where, where's the point where, like, at which point is the, is the warmth too much? I might die from the sulfur? Okay, I didn't consider poisoning myself yet. Oh, Gabe is linking something in the chat, guys. And he says, take a look at this. Gabe, you already know your link privileges are revoked. I will click on your link to see if it's still the case. The Mugetsu Gabriel Redemption Arc. It starts now. The best footage of the start of Iceland's eruption? Fisher opening. Okay, this looks cool. Oh my god. It's raining blood. Someone should make a song, a song about that. Yay! See? This guy's not dying. You guys are making it sound like if I stand over here, I'm dead. This guy's just standing here with a hoodie on, dude. He's got glasses and everything. No protective gear. Also, this guy's probably a bit of an idiot, but that's okay. <laughs> He's just chilling. Just your average Icelandic dude. It's probably the way the camera is set up though, because the camera makes it look like he's very close, but I think he's actually very far away. Whoa, look at that dude! Icelandic people are insane! Like, Jimmy, do you want to go sniff some sulfur today? It's like, well... We can get it straight from the source!
Yeah, what if the wind changes, guys? You can't outrun a lot of this. Like, this is this is flowing pretty fast. There's no way you could outrun it. Maybe it's the national pastime, and yeah, that that's true. You you can outrun it. <laughs> you just have to look backwards, try to figure out the direction, keep running in the opposite direction. Great story at your funeral, I guess. Yeah, that's true. What you can learn from stepping on lava? Look at that. Bro, don't do it. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Why would you see? You got you guys made it sound like I would instantly evaporate. Some of you guys made it sound like you would instantly disappear. This guy is still alive, I think. I don't know if- I don't know Alec, Alex, but... <laughs> Alex is a f***ing idiot, dude. Try it with bare flesh, Alex. No, 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 I don't think he's gonna do that. He's not standing on it? How is he not standing on it? Oh, he's more stepping on it. Yeah. Alex almost burned to death. Anyways, so this is currently ongoing. Let's all take a moment to be grateful that we don't live um, in Iceland, right next to a volcano. Except for Argal. Wait, try typing surrender to this pair next time you play? Okay, let's give it a try real quick. Surrender to this pair. The mighty spirits of the preservers are in prison. Do I have to wait until Zeratu is done with his roleplay? Surrender to this pair! The preservers you seek survive. I think I have to wait for Mar maybe, yeah. Hey! That's a cute Easter egg. Or Easter pear. Surrender to this pear. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't, I, I can't unhear it. Okay, Jimmy's broke though. But I have no units. <laughs> Excuse me. So with my ghost gone, can I still nuke? I got a little present headed your way. I did not expect that base to look like that. I'll be honest with you. Okay. As I was moving out, we should basically not do that. Okay, so defeat Mira before calling down nukes. So now I can call down nukes, right? It's a little pricey. Only 6,000 minerals, 5,000 gas, but... Oh, there they are. Couple of them from the high ground. I didn't even see these the first time around. I wish I could zoom out, dude. Here we go! <laughs> oh, GG baby. A particular set of skills. We will find you and we will nuke your base. Let's get out of here. We can enjoy the results from a nice safe distance. Congratulations, Commander. This completes the movement tutorial. Thank you. Thank you, Adjutant. I appreciate that. We did it, guys. Another mission done. All three of the achievements in one go. I've been able to do that on some of them, not on all, but 63 APM? That's amazing. The Autism Spectrum Test. It encompasses a range of neurodevelopmental conditions. Oh God. Do I want to fill this out, Chad? Is this a good idea or a bad idea? I can't figure it out. Is Loco Autistic? Let's find out. Bad idea? <laughs> you can do it too, yeah. It was just linked in the chat. I get obsessed with strings of numbers such as dates or license plates. Nope. I have a tendency to hit or destroy things when I'm angry. Nope. 
I accumulate a lot of facts on subjects and topics that interest me. Very true, yes. I do do that, yes. I often rock myself or fiddle with my hands to feel better. No. I have a tendency to yell at people when I feel frustrated or stressed. I do that on stream. <laughs> but that's for the stream. I don't actually do that and that's not something I do in real life. I don't, I don't, I don't shout it. Yeah, I only do it for you. Only for the content. I'll go with a, a disagree, just one, but I don't actually... It is hard for me to sit still without tapping or fidgeting. No. I sometimes have compulsive thoughts about being injured or having other bad things happen to me in extremely specific ways. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> I think everybody does this at some point. You're like, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit sometimes, but like never in a bad way. Okay, I'm gonna go with the middle. I'm almost always in the same neutral or flat mood. Yeah, you're like on the sidewalk and you're like, what if I take a step forward right now? I could get hit by a car. You've never thought about that? Oh God, okay. I almost always am in the same neutral or flat mood. I mean, I'm pretty much always in the same mood, but it's not a flat one. I'm usually in a pretty good mood. I'm very sensitive to noise. Uh, not very sensitive. I have temper tantrums, no. I hate the sound of fireworks, fire alarms. I love the sound of fire alarms. What do you, <laughs> what do you mean? Doesn't everybody love the sound of fire alarms? I hate the sound of fire alarms and or thunder. I don't, I like fireworks, I like thunder. I don't like wee woo wee, yeah. Guess I'll go with disagree. Fire alarms seem kind of annoying though. I find it difficult to make decisions or act without guidance from others. No. At parties or other social gatherings, I will usually stand in a corner or close to a wall. <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. I don't seek it out. Others say that I speak too loudly or too softly. I think people have told me that. Yeah? Others have told me that I have repetitive bodily movements. Oh god, no. People sometimes tell me that I'm being rude in conversation, even though I think I'm being polite. <laughs> I think that's called being Dutch. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'm just Dutch. Dutch people don't really beat around the bush very much, man. We don't really... I don't think this is what they're aiming for, though. I guess I'll go with slightly disagree. Yeah, we're very blunt. I've been described as having an unusual <laughs> posture. I have gamer neck, okay? I have gamer neck. I am rarely worried about anything. I don't know. No, everybody's worried about stuff. Others have told me I speak like a robot. <laughs> I don't think I speak like a robot, do I? I try my best not to speak like a robot anyways. I think this is a trainable skill, but no. Expressions like raining cats and dogs and feeling like a million dollars are confusing to me. In the beginning the universe was created. This has made a lot of people very angry and been widely regarded as a bad move. Is that from the Hitchhiker's Guide? <laughs> Thank you Spleen for the nine months, welcome. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, fantastic. Are those confusing to me? No, I use a lot of them. Others have told me that I have problems managing my anger, no. Even when I'm paying attention to conversations, I do not necessarily look into the eyes of the speaker. No, I look into people's eyes, I think. People have told me I make repetitive strange noises <laughs> and or repeat certain words out of context. Do I? Don't think so. No, I don't think I do. Do I? Yes. What? Like what? For the Twitch content? For the content's a bit different, guys. Okay, fine. We'll go with slightly disagree then. I have never been good at sports. I think I'm decent, but I'm not great. It is stressful for me to retain eye contact? No. I almost always carry some sort of special object in my purse or wallet that provides me with a sense of security, comfort, or control. I carry my, my cart and my keys. <laughs> those, those give me control. <laughs> I, I have a sense of control and security. With my phone? Yeah, but I don't think that's what they mean. No, I don't think that's what they mean. 
probably some sort of lucky item or whatever. I prefer to do things on my own rather than with others. Heart agree. New social situations make me anxious. Doesn't everybody? A little bit at least. I do not like going to loud places like markets, amusement parks. No, I do like going to those. I often bump into things or trip. Up. <laughs> I did hit my head on the door a couple times, chat. I did hit my head on the door a couple times. Is that often? Once a year. Is that often? Is this a nerd test? No, no, no. It's an autism test that somebody linked on Discord. We're, we're, we're self-diagnosing at the moment, Thinkman Hammer. For no apparent reason whatsoever. I often bump into things or trip over my own feet. S yeah, sometimes. People have told me that I can be obsessed about my interests. Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah. When I'm having a conversation with someone, I prefer to look at the wall, at their shoes or somewhere else. No. I often am beset by feelings of sadness. No. When I see a balloon, I worry that it might pop. No. I enjoy parties. Yeah, neutral. I have a certain routine or habit that I must follow. Yeah, I'm very routine based. I feel irritated or angry when I have to navigate uncertain situations. No, not irritated or angry. Being away from home for extended periods of time frightens me. No. Oh. As a child, I put most of the pressure on the front of my feet when walking. No. As a child, I would often repeat words or phrases that were said to me. Isn't that how you learn language? <laughs> Isn't that how people learn how to talk? Yes. I generally avoid eye contact. No. When I watch a movie, I do not look at the eyes of the actors. I don't know. I, I guess I do sometimes, most of the time, but not always. I have trouble understanding what people mean when they say they feel happy for someone else. <laughs> no, no, no. I cannot stand certain sounds. Like vacuum cleaners, drums, buzzy... No, no, no. I follow a set schedule closely and tend to avoid unfamiliar things. Somewhat agree, yeah. I talk to my friends at a party the same way I would talk to my co-workers. Well, the thing is... <laughs> <laughs> who, who, like, my co-workers? What if your co-workers are your friends? How does this work, guys? What are friends? Oh, you guys are the co-workers? Yeah, I would talk to you guys the same way. Yeah. But I guess I'm gonna go neutral, because otherwise it f***s up the quiz. I rarely enjoy experience. Or rarely experience happiness or joy. No. I dislike talking to people I don't know. No. When I get angry, I calm down faster than most people. I think I calm down real quick, yeah. I don't really get angry, to be honest. I usually feel unhappy more days than not. No. Alright, chat. Ah, my symptoms are low. I just have fixations. Well, that probably isn't a surprise. Because I've been playing the same game for 13 years. Social difficulty. I've got two out of five bars on social difficulty. All right. Poor eye contact. Anxiety. Aggression. Oh, I scored very low on aggression. I'm now neurodivergent. Congrats. Wait, did you just congratulate me? <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> That's a little cursed. Loco's only aggressive in ladder games. No, I don't get aggressive in ladder games. No, 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 no. Aggressive in ladder games? Uh, I will usually get upset at my own gameplay, more so than anything else. Aggressive? That's kind of a strong word, no? Oh, my play style is aggressive. I do play aggressively, that's true. I just get salty. I do get a little salty, yeah. I used to get angry when I was young. When I was like a teenager, I used to get angry sometimes, but, you know, we've come a long way. It's a long time ago. Also, I used to play Call of Duty and voice chat and everything back then, you know? So you just kind of assume that everybody gets angry all the time. Turns out that's not the norm, chat. Thousand bucks. Embarrassing. You can't make dishes without the wasabi so the kitchen stops? Oh, really? What's this? I should call it a day. It's a long road to becoming a great master. What's this? Yeah, leftover dishes go to waste. 
Is this Duff? <laughs> God, he's got a body pillow. <laughs> They just went full stereotype, didn't they? Oh my god, he's got like one of those sleep masks as well with We just get a random duff cutscene? It's probably irrelevant. A life stage is about to begin in Duff's dream. When the high button reaches the cursor, press the left and right mouse button. Use the mouse to your hand up and down and hit the green note. What? Suddenly it's a rhythm game? Oh my god. Wait, what do I do? <laughs> the trombone champ is back in town, baby! <laughs> His anime girls are dancing by themselves. Do I have to hit both mouse buttons? I actually don't know. <laughs> what a game. Okay, I don't think I did a great job, but it wasn't horrible. Be honest, chat. How many times have you dreamt of this exact same thing? When you go to bed with your buddy pillows and your anime figurines on your desk and you have your, your booby mouse pad on the desk and like the computer is maybe powered down, probably in sleep mode. This is nightly. Yeah. Mm, this has never happened, Loco. You typed it in all uppercase. That's a bit suspicious. <sighs> You're feeling exposed? Oh, okay. Did you play enough? I think I played enough. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. This game is amazing, dude. It's really fun. <laughs> Aww. A new mobile game called Leia's Run is now available. You can play the game from your phone. That's amazing. They put so many little bits of, of content in this game, it's insane. We all know what happens now, I don't want to think about that. Chapter 4, The Abandoned mm -hmm. Cave, okay. Mm -hmm. Denzin asked me to bring him the Glacier <laughs> Passage Key, I must return, okay. Hey, my kid is a little bit... What's he doing? What's going on, Mugetsu? You don't have to drive anymore? Oh, j Bro! Oh my god, that seems dangerous. This is why, like, kids always enjoy playing with their fathers more than with their moms. Whee! Perfect. The ceiling is too high? Yeah, yeah. I live in a luxury home. <laughs> what the f memory? Here's memory's question. <clears throat> if the game goes on for long enough, is there an option to marry your child? That is one of the most things I've read today. But no, 
Apparently kids in this game never grow up. They remain creepy little things that wander around your home their entire lives. Just like kids in real life. Yeah, exactly. I haven't really grown up either. I just got older. But yeah, exactly. Since they never grow up, if I ever need somebody for the generator... I have options. I think my very last act in Stardew Valley is gonna be one of the absolute most messed up things I've ever done in a video game. I'm sorry, little Frodo. There's a difference between this and killing the Krogan. The ancient Meiji seal of protection will be lifted, allowing monsters to appear on your farm at night? No, 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 no. <laughs> Chat. Okay, I just want to see what it looks I just- there has to be a cinematic. There has to be a cinematic. I don't want to save the game, though. I hope it doesn't auto-save. <laughs> Goodbye, Frodo! No, 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 It just- it just- it just flew off. Ay ay ay! He just f got out of there. Oh god, that was cursed. Oh. <sighs> I didn't go back. I wasn't brave enough to face Penny. I wasn't brave. I hope it didn't save. Frodo? Frodo? <laughs> Frodo! Oh, thank god, he's here. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cursed. You think I'll read a book today? Gunter asked me to say hi. You went to the museum? It'd be really funny if it automatically saved right away. That was just a bad dream. Oh my god. I feel bad. I feel genuinely bad. If I build hatcheries here and there, at some point they'll all be uh, running out. Oh, they are long distance mining this. Can I make a? I can't make a spine crawler. Dang it! I, I, I wish I could make a spine crawler. <laughs> My probes are vicious, though. <laughs> okay, I killed about a dozen photon cannons just now. I think we'll have them uh, yolo in over here. Roasted, man. Zero to molding right now. <laughs> Gabe, StarCraft 2 crashed? Ay, 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 ay. We're gonna have to sit here for a minute until Gabe inevitably disconnects. SMH, my head, Gabe. We'll just sit here. I blame Blizzard. You're in the chat right now, Gabe. That means you're all tapped out. It's okay, it's okay. No worries. We'll just re host the lobby. Trying to alt tap out of a game in 2023. I know, dude. Well, to be fair, Memory, didn't you mention you made a hole in your computer case just so you could fit your new graphics card? That is the most cursed solution I've ever heard. <laughs> you fing like sawed out a piece of your case and the card is just sort of sticking out of it? Can you please show a picture? In my mind, it's absolutely beautiful. Here's how I, I picture your computer case. All right, here we have, I will, I will draw the computer case. Here we go, here's, here's the computer case right over here, right? You had like a previous graphics card that was kind of like this big and you, uh, you know, decided to buy a new one, but it didn't fit. So you decided, you know what? I'm just gonna f cut a hole right over here on the side. Can I delete this? Does that work? There you go, fixed. And now you just have a hole in your computer case? The hole is at the top? What? Your the whole the hole is at how I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <sighs>
But how do you even mount a, a, a graphics card vertically? You would have to have your... your... Huh? I guess you would have to have like one of those rotated cases, yeah. I know it's possible with like a PCIe extension type of thing. But that seems way more complex. Yeah. I know there are adapters for it, but that's funny. Better circulation? I don't think that matters, no. <laughs> Ask how to get a girlfriend? Okay, I'll help you guys out. In the uh, chat behalf, ask it how to get a girlfriend. Okay, how can Figaro in Twitch chat get a girlfriend? Please give him some advice. I got you, I got you, Figaro. I know you're talking about chat, but that's okay. I, I, you know, I'll, I'll poke right through that. How to get a girlfriend. It's searching right now. Don't worry, Figaro, I got you, dude. Hi, Figaro. I'm glad you're interested in finding a girlfriend. There's no magic formula for getting a girlfriend, but here are some steps you can take. Fix your looks. <laughs> Yikes, bro. That's the first thing it came up with. <laughs> God, that's rough, man. Fix your looks. This doesn't mean you have to change. <laughs> take care of your hygiene. Oh my God. Excel at something. Be open to meeting other people. Impress a girl and ask her out. Learn more at marriage.com. <laughs> man, that was rough. But thanks for the 300 bits, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. I have, after many hours of searching, found two objects, chat. I have found the wire cutter as well as the wrench. This is where you're supposed to post pork champs. Maybe you didn't quite realize it, but that is that is the moment. Yeah. It took a long time, actually. Finding a wrench and a bolt cutter, I mean, they went hand in hand. It was not easy. Look at it. Here's my wrench. Here's my cutters. You want to see them? I can cut things now. I only do aggressive cutting. No, like, subtle cutting. Only, like, bam! And here's my wrench. I can loosen these nuts. Mmm. Mmm. There it is. Mmm. I'm aggressive when it comes to the cutting. I'm nice and smooth when it comes to my wrench. 